Hi, everyone. This is day four of Dr. Moss's absence, and uh, you know how to make this chart as we go through two Rashis of our day. All right, let's let's go. So um, after these things, God tested Abraham. God said to Abraham, and Abraham said, here I am. This is a really interesting part of the Torah we're getting to. Probably, I think, the most famous and troubling story of the entire Torah, the Akedat Yitzchak, it's called, the binding of Isaac. And it begins with these words. After these things, God tested Abraham, and Abraham, and God said, Abraham, and Abraham said, here I am. I made a mistake with and, and it's supposed to be written, and Abraham said, here I am. So um, what do you think is the kasha, or what would be your kasha here? Um, write it down, maybe stop the video and share a little bit. Let's see what Rashi's answer is here. After what things? What are these things that are being spoken about here? And why is it after these things that immediately afterwards comes these words, uh, God tested Abraham? So what kind of precipitated that, that the, the, what's the these things that precipitated this great test? Um, any ideas, what, what would be your, your Teiruts? And uh, after you get some answers, let's look at what Rashi's Teiruts is. Um, so, um, Rashi, there, there's a couple answers here, and it's a famous Rashi. So either um, there are two things. Either it's a fight about God, that God and Satan. Satan, of course, is not Satan, but in Jewish religion, Satan is one of the angels of God. So God has all these different angels. And Satan is the adversary of God, is the one who kind of was always like the poker at God, kind of being like, are you sure, God? Is this real? You really think you're so great? And basically... Abraham, uh, Satan says to Abraham, Abraham, you know, this guy, Abraham, this guy, Abraham, uh, uh, Satan says to God, God, this guy, Abraham seems like really great. And, I'm, and yeah, I know you're so proud of the fact that you found him and picked him to be the, the leader and father of your new nation. But come on, you've given him just about everything. You haven't really asked anything hard of him. Of course, he follows you because every his life is easy and he gets lots of rewards. Ask him something hard. And you'll see very quickly, he's not going to be the beloved uh, follower that you thought he was. And so that's really, it. After the, after, so after these things is after God was piqued and poked by Satan, uh, God sets up this test for Abraham. Or it could be a fight between Yitzchak and Yishmael after these things. So Yitzchak and Yishmael are fighting, and Yitzchak and Yishmael says, Yitzchak, you think you're so great, but listen, I remember when I was circumcised at age 13, and I didn't cry at all, but you, when you were circumcised, oh, only eight days old, you were crying, crying and howling like a little bitty baby. And you think you're so great, you are nothing. I'm the good, I'm the great one, I'm the brave one, I'm the bold one. And Yitzhak said, oh, all you did was, um, was get circumcised, but watch what God can do for me, and you'll see how brave and unflinching and I, I will be. So really, it's Yitzhak after these things, after the fights between Yitzhak and Yishmael, that Yitzhak says, I want to have this test happen to me and prove to the world that I am a, not just that Avraham is not just great, but I am a great second to Avraham. So interesting. So um, write the Rashi's Teiruts there, and then let's move on to the next piece. And we're still on that Akidat binding of Isaac story. And God says, take please Yitzchak and bring him to Moria and offer him up as a sacrifice on one of the mountains, which I will tell you. Actually, I think there are, to me, there are two problems here, um, but uh, see if you can figure out either one of them. Write your kasha there, and let's check out what Rashi has to say. Oh, there are two. So why does God say please? I mean, God is God. Like, why isn't God commanding? What's the whole please all about? Number two, why doesn't God tell Abraham the name of the mountain? So uh, give your idea of what um, of what the te so write Rashi's kasha, write what you think the te roots might be, and when you're if you've shared sufficiently as a class, let's go to Rashi's te roots. So, um, so what might be so the please indicates that God is really hoping that Abe will say yes, but 
um, not just for Abe's sake, but for God's sake, God, with God's debate with, with Satan, like God needs to show that Abraham can do this, not when he is ordered to do it, but when all God does is ask. So actually the test becomes harder for Abraham when God, when Abraham knows, oh, he said, please do me a favor and do this, meaning I could say no, and that feels legitimate. So the very fact that God allows for the saying of no means that this is not just, this is a harder test, but by passing it, God, uh, Abraham can prove to God how worthy Abraham is. And I think the next question is, why doesn't God tell which mountain? And I think you have to ask yourself the following question. Is it harder when um, you are going on a trip and you know where you're going? Or is it harder when you don't know where you're going? And uh, at least Rashi believes and brings up this tradition that is actually it's much harder when you don't know where you're going. So every step is actually a step of like of like trust and faith. Whereas if you know where you're going, it's just getting there. That's like one act of trust and faith. So um, to make the test a little harder, God does not tell the name of the mountain. And so right in Rashi's Te Roots there. And uh, we'll see you during the next Jewish Studies class. Thank you.